Hello everyone, Epic Clips here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do your own like custom game modes in Rocket League. So, just a little while ago, uh, Butter and Cream, which you guys have seen plenty before in the Rocket League modding community, he does a lot of things, along with Tim, did some stuff in the background, has made a menu that you guys may have seen some of the stuff before, where you can kind of change the size of your car, do unlimited jumps, change the size of the ball... Uh, and there's like kind of a zombie mode and you can also change your own like main menu in a way. So basically I'm going to go right from start here and we're starting on the Rocket League Mods website. The link to the website will be down below and the, the link to the exact spot of the download will be right below. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. So you basically from the main menu, you go to view mods and then it will be this mod, Rocket League Custom Miser Beta, see by uh, Butter and Cream. And then you click here. And then you can press download, uh, which I've already done. So I'll just I'll redo it again. So it'll come in a zip and it'll look like this. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, extract all files to a specific folder. And I extracted mine to the desktop. So we'll go there right now. And then it is right here. And it'll look like this. And basically what you want to do is run Rocket League Customizer. And what you want to do when that's open is you want to go and run Rocket League. So we'll do that really quickly. And as Rocket League runs, uh, you can't have it, well you can have it full screen. Uh, oop, that's the wrong button, my bad. You open this and you press set path. So then from that, um, you basically have everything set up. It should all be working from there. So then, from then, we go and we go back to the application. And basically here is enable custom, uh, like in-game changing name. Wow, I really fucked that up. And that's basically so you can change your name in the game. Um, and that won't actually affect your Steam name. It'll only affect your name inside of Rocket League. So also we have uh, enable your own custom uh, blog menu, which is all this stuff here. So basically when you finish doing everything, you just press save and load mod. And you see here it says menu F2 and in-game F1. So if I want to change my menu, which I'll show you guys right now, if I press F2, it should change. There we go. See, look, it's got my own little thing. Epic Eclipse. Like and subscribe for more content. Um, so then if we bring this back open, uh, we'll start off. I'll go through all the things. Ooh, okay, so this is going to happen basically sometimes because it's new. They're going to work on the fixes and stuff. So I would keep updated with the Rocket League Mobs website. And you'll see them release patches and stuff for it because they were already talking to me about it. Uh, it's brand new, so it's going to crash a little bit. It's just something that you're going to have to deal with, but it's okay. Um, so if we come here and then see, uh, this is the normal things, but I right now have unlimited uh, jumps enabled. So if I press F1 and then I go, oh, it didn't actually, oh wait, it's because my game crashed. I am sorry about that. If I press load mods and then if I go in here, and press F1. See, it has a little stutter. That's how you know it worked. So now, I can jump around as much as I want without touching the ground. That's the unlimited jump. And then I believe, as well, if you... If you do the double jump timeout to, I think, like, 0.5 or 0 or something like that. And then you gotta press save. And load mods. And then you go back and you press F1 again. It should be able to jump just a tad bit quicker. Yeah, see? It's a little bit more of a quicker jump, you know. If you want to be your own Rocket League gymnastics, you can go and flip around as much as you want. And be just like the USA team in the Olympics. So, besides from that, which is pretty awesome. Sorry about the wrong clicking here. Uh, you can make the ball bigger. So, we can let's just load it to three. You can press save and load mods. And then you go back and press F1, and boom, look. It may be stuck in the ground a little bit, but it also gets a little bit buggy. But if you hit it against the wall, it should come out. And there you go. You have this gigantic ball. Let's see if we can get in the goal. See, there you go. 
And then, here, this is why I want to get it in, is when you score, don't freak out, everything's going to reset, you just have to go back, and if you press F1 again, everything will go back to normal, so don't worry about it. One of my favorite things to do is, you can come super good at goalie training, because ready for this, you know, we'll just change the goalie, go to all-star, in the meantime, car scale, let's just do, let's do five, and we'll put the ball scale back at one, save, load this isn't that wasn't fair that was not fair let's restart our training ready we got this no doubt in my mind we got this oh maybe maybe a little bit of a doubt oh wow no okay but if you make your car big enough you will get it every time here we'll get this one we're not quite tall enough you might want to use the octane for this but in other speakings, you could just make your car a lot bigger. Let's see if we can do it in jump here. Oh, we just quite missed it. But that's one of the other cool features that there is, is making your car a little bit bigger. I'll show you it in free play if we just press F1 here. Yeah. The one thing about this is uh, your boost trail will be really funny and small. But another thing is you won't really be able to jump and you're like... Agility and stuff in the car will be pretty terrible. And that's just because the physics of your car kind of grows with as your car grows so the bigger your car is the heavier it is and you won't be able to jump and fly so i recommend if you were going to do that to try to play just a little bit with a bigger car i'd do like 1.5 and i enjoy doing it with maybe like a 0.5 ball you do save and load it just like usual go back in press f1 and there you go you got a slightly bigger car and it's a little glitchy if we just reset it and then press F1 again, we should be a little bit better. So here, it's a little bit different. Again, you're going to be a little bit more stuck to the ground, but your car's a little bit bigger. You're a little bit more goofy. So, that was mainly everything, but if we leave really quickly, and then we go to Exhibition, and we go to this, and put them on All-Star, and I believe that's okay. But first, before we do this, we go and put enable zombie mode. And we're going to want to just keep the ball as normal. And maybe we'll put ourselves as like 0.75, just a tiny bit smaller. Save, and we'll load this. And then we're going to jump into blue team. And then we press F1. It should... Oh, it's not quite working. But... When they fix this, because I'll let them know um, that it's not working. Let's see. It should load. Let's try it again. Let's try to load it again. Hmm. Strange. But usually, that would work. And basically what that is, is like a zombie mode and the bots will come after you. Which is pretty cool. So, that's another little fun mode. And also, I like making yourself smaller. And as per usual, when you're bigger, you move slower. But when you're smaller, you move a lot quicker. And can fly a lot qu a lot quicker. And you're a lot lighter. So, that's basically all that the, the loader does from now. Uh, also, you can edit the score, like name text. So, you can say, you know, Epic Eclipse Gaming sucks with an explanation point at the end, and that's what will pop up on the screen. So that's another little cool thing. And basically that's everything that's in there. It's got the Reddit link and the website link, and I'd recommend going to sub to the Reddit, or yeah, is it called sub? Yeah, sub to the Reddit, so you can see all the updates on this and see when the next patch comes out to maybe make it crash less and stuff like that. Let me just leave to the main menu. Oh, what did I click there? Yep. All right, let me leave to the main menu here. Okay, so we're back in the main menu, and let's see, everything should go back yet. So, this is it for now. It's very cool, and all the little game modes are very cool and fun to play. Definitely something different. You can't play them uh, multiplayer yet, but we're very close to getting land working, so when we do, then you'll be able to play it with your friends, which will be a ton of fun. And the zombie mode, I'm sure they'll fix it pretty much right after this video, as soon as I tell them there's a bug with it. So that's everything there. It's got the links and also it's got a help that tells you anything that you need to know. And you can also launch Rocket League through it, but you still have to do the save and load and press F1 or F2. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So I will see you guys in the next one.